Earlier I made a big, uh, sort of definitive, long video about uh, the generation of um, grid electricity in the U.S. And so now I want to make it a little more practical, a little more fun. I'm going to compare the emissions from using um, grid-generated electricity to drive Teslas among uh, a couple of the uh, Tesla YouTubers in the U.S. On this chart, I have plotted out and graphed um, the energy production by state and also the uh, emissions from that energy production um, of my state, which is Michigan, also uh, K-Man Autos State, which is Wisconsin, and then also uh, like Tesla, who are in Georgia. So uh, first, let's go over their production. So Michigan, uh, where I am, is uh, we use about 47% coal. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, 53,000 uh, gigawatt hours were produced last year from coal. Um, nuclear comes in second at 26%, and then natural gas third at 18 percent and then there's a smattering of smaller ones a little bit of hydro um, a significant but pretty small amount of wind and then biomass moving over to Wisconsin again mostly coal higher percentage um, than Michigan uh, about the same natural gas and then uh, a little bit less nuclear uh, hydro more hydro than in Michigan um, also some wind and then biomass. Georgia is a little different. Uh, they have much less coal by percentage, 30%, and then 38% uh, natural gas, 26% nuclear, um, some hydro, and then um, the significant rest is uh, biomass. So let's go through the emissions now. Um, pretty much Michigan leads uh, the absolute value of emissions in sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, um, all those categories, as well as in the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide per megawatt hour of production, uh, which is interesting. And then with CO2, um, the winner is Wisconsin uh, with uh, 1,576 uh, pounds of CO2 per megawatt hour produced. Um, and um, Michigan and Wisconsin are both uh, coal predominant uh, manufacturing. Georgia, I'm not sure why um, it says it's coal predominant when actually most of it is natural gas. Okay, so again, here's the electric vehicle um, pounds of CO2 emitted uh, per mile driven using 350 watt hours of grid generated energy. Uh, the worst is Wisconsin at 0.552, and then next is um, us here in Michigan, and then significantly lower are the folks in Georgia. So uh, what that means is that in Michigan, um, if you drive a 45 mile per gallon vehicle uh, that has a emits less CO2, uh, according to these calculations, uh, than driving a large electric vehicle. But if you have 40 mile per gallon or less uh, vehicle, then it's worse. Uh, similarly, in in Wisconsin. 45 mile per 44 mile per gallon vehicle is uh, cleaner, but also a 40 mile per hour mile per gallon vehicle is actually cleaner than uh, driving with grid electricity in uh, Wisconsin, which is interesting. Uh, Georgia has such a low rate of grid generated electricity emissions um, that no matter what gas car you uh, drive, you'll um, emit you know, a higher carbon footprint, basically. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Um, one side, though, though is that uh, this electric vehicle, if it's a Model S, it's, it's really heavy, fast, uh, and large, and safe. And once you get up into these 45 mile per gallon uh, vehicles, they generally cease to be large, uh, cease to be fast, and generally tend to be uh, less safe in terms of collisions. So, um, something to consider. Uh, but anyway, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to um, compare um, a couple of the prominent YouTubers uh, out there. I wanted to include some others like uh, Michael Subasic, uh, Bjorn, and um, James Cook, but Cook is in England and I don't have that data, and uh, Bjorn is in Norway obviously and I don't have that data, and um, Subasic is in Canada and I don't have, I think he's in Alberta or something. 
Um, I don't have data for that, but that would be an interesting comparison um, in internet. That would be an international comparison 